You already have what it takes to be good at math. We just need to bring out your problem solving skills. So in this series, we're learning how to build your math sense. I'm Amy, I was a state math champion and I got perfect scores easily on the ACT and SAT math section with 10 minutes each time to spare. We'll go over a fun math problem today. And every time I ask you a question, pause the video to see if you can answer it, think about it a little bit and then continue the video. Each of these videos to build your math sense is interactive and that's the part that will get you really actually good at solving any math problem that comes your way. I use nine bricks of dimensions one by two to build a wall of five layers as shown. The perimeter of the wall is 22. If the wall of 13 layers in the same pattern is built, what is the perimeter of this new wall? Okay, so what does this problem actually mean? So here's where you pause the video to make sure that you can actually state it in your own words. How I would restate this in my own words to make sure I understand the problem is that we're using bricks of dimensions one of height and a two of width to build a wall. And when we stack this wall with a pattern of one, two, three, and then going down from there, in this patterned wall, we're gonna have a perimeter. And that's the red line you see on the edge of the figure. We're trying to see that if we build 13 layers, what would the perimeter be of this new wall? So I actually have not seen this problem before and I don't know how to solve it. So you're gonna see live today, the thought process I go through when approached with a new problem. I'm gonna start with the current example. This one has five layers and the perimeter is 22. So I see symmetry, I'm gonna cut this in half and now every one of these little edges is going to be a unit of one so actually let me just draw this a little bigger just like in the original we cut it in half i'm going to look at all of the horizontal unit lengths so here's one two three four five six this is all of these little edges right here Using this systematic approach makes it easier to track what sides I'm counting. Then I'm gonna look at all the vertical unit lengths, which is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. These are all of unit length one. The reason I do this and why I cut it in half is because at the end, no matter what kind of wall, all I have to do is multiply it by two to get the total perimeter. So on this side, if I add it together, I have six plus five, which equals 11. This makes sense with the original perimeter of 22 because we have two sides and two times 11 is 22. So from this example, maybe I can guess that one side will be the number of layers. So number of layers equals N. I'm gonna guess that this is N plus one plus n for one of the sides. That's because we have six, which is n plus one, and then we have five, which is n. And I just guess that this is the formula for one of the sides of the brick wall. Even though this is kind of a guess, it's really a deduction because it's reasonable. So in general, when I say guess, we never wanna guess in math. It's reasonable because each of these vertical lengths represents a layer. There are five here because there are five layers. And then the horizontal parts, there's one more because there's an extra one at the bottom. So that's actually why it makes sense that this is represented by n plus one. But let's just confirm it for a layer of three bricks. So here, if we count it, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on one side. That's also one, two, three, four of the horizontal parts plus one, two, three of the vertical lengths. That's how we get seven. And that means that this perimeter is going to be 14. Now we actually have a formula to represent the perimeter no matter how many layers it is. I have that one side is n plus 1 plus n, which is 2n plus 1. But remember, this is only half of the perimeter. So I multiply that whole thing 
by 2. And that is my formula for the perimeter. Therefore, if we go into the original problem, which asks us what the perimeter is if n is 13 because there are 13 layers, all we do is plug it into the formula that we found. This means we don't have to draw out all 13 layers. We use our problem solving skills to find a pattern ourselves, such that we can really derive an equation that suits any n that the problem throws at you. So 2n plus 1 times 2, if we plug in the 13, that will become 27 times 2, which is 54. And I'm going to look at the answer now. Yeah, we got it right, guys. 54. Good job. Math is not about guessing. You can derive it using small examples and see whether it's reasonable, such that even in this problem that seemed a little tricky, we pretty much guarantee ourselves to be able to get the right answer. And that's the key to be able to do math competitions well, to be able to get 100% on math tests, because we understand it so well with our math sense that we can tell if our answer is right ourselves. Practice problem. I use nine bricks of dimensions one by two to build a wall of five layers as shown. The perimeter of the wall is 22. If the wall of 21 layers in the same pattern is built, what is the perimeter of this new wall? Okay, so pause and try it. Leave your answer in the comments to see if you really understand. How many two digit numbers ending in one are primes? Think about it, and if you want to see the solution, then make sure to subscribe and check out next time's video for the complete walkthrough. The more problems you solve in this way to build your math sense, the faster and easier problems will be for you. And then you can ace any math class and do well in a math competition.